Welcome back everyone. We'll be testing out this puller I was sent. On this part right here, uh, I've been having problems trying to get the bearing off. Basically practically destroyed the bearing. not going to work. We'll work on the bottom one. This is more of an automotive puller, not a whatever cool pulling. No, yeah. It's not gonna work for that, but this would work good for pulling pulleys. Or bearings and other stuff, but not working on getting those bearings out, but look at all that play. So I gotta get a puller or something. And I gotta get that bearing on. Well, gotta get. Gotta get this bearing off. Soon enough. See if I can read it. Almost there. I'm gonna have to do some machining on that because I ground, I ground down that pretty good, and there's notches in that shaft now. So it almost looks like the bearing's part of the thing, but how can that be? Why would they make it like that? So the bearing is right there, and I'm just not seeing it. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to grind that down. To the point where it'll crack, and then after that, take it off. So, uh, I don't have anything else to test that puller on right now, but I'm probably going to test out on a pulley, like on a lawnmower, maybe, or a lawnmower blade, or something like that. Uh, has a lot of force behind it. Modify the thing. Uh, yeah, if I, if I did some grinding, did some grinding, ground that down a little, I could probably get that in there. But I don't think it's going to, I don't think there's enough room to do that with all of them. I, need, I guess I need a bearing pull itself. This is more of a pulley pull. It works for bearings, but not that type of bearing. It's kind of my fault because I thought it was going to work for that. But. Trying to think what bearing or pulley do I, what I need to take off. Mm, not really. Uh, it would work good to take that 
one forty off that was on the uh, engine on the seven six ten. But I basically used the force of gravity to take one off. That would work perfect for that. Uh, five ton. Maybe it's specifically for axles. That's probably for taking axle hubs off and stuff. So I got the wrong tool for the wrong job. So that's my fault. But uh, I want to say a huge shout out to LabWorks for sending that out. I appreciate it. I look forward to working with them on the channel. And uh, for those that are wondering about the carburetor video, I'm not going to be making a part two to that probably because uh, there is some miscommunication a little. And, uh, which happens, I mean, no one's perfect. And, uh, but we did some research and investigated into the carburetor and figured out that that could be indeed a two-stroke carburetor. It's just missing a couple parts, which they might think, or they might want you to take your old part and put in your new carburetor. The little inlet for the oil, because it's Players Express 300, so it has its own oil reservoir. Which, uh, yeah. So, uh, that could have been causing most of the problems on that unit. But, uh. And we still got the Odyssey tank down there we need to work on. And we got to rebuild the loader cylinders to the 7610. There's uh, four of them, I believe. And, uh, yeah. So, please subscribe, like, comment, share this video. And uh, I do got to put a carburetor on this unit right here and get her going again. And I got to do some repair because uh, the deck right there, I mean... Let's just say, uh, the mower deck seen better days on that. But we all got it fixed up, and uh, it'll be running right, working right, because that's the only way. Do it right. We don't do stuff half fast on Anarchy. We do it right. Then we got the service kit for the 800 right there. Got some new spark plugs, differential oil, trans oil, engine oil, oil filter. Then we got over there a little pile of basically a mini hardware store. We're going to go take that blue oil right there. We're going to go top off the 300. And then we're going to call it a video. Uh, I do have a video of me unboxing the hydraulic puller, puller, if you are interested in watching that, go check it out. Oh, yeah, I even got the funnel and I still managed to fill it. <sighs> Tell you. Yeah, we will be next thing that should be coming from 
lab works is some micrometers, but I did see they have a slide hammer kit, so I might get that coming too. And uh, yeah, see what that pull would work good for is like getting that hub off right there, put it behind it, and then press it off. That would work perfect, or uh, CV axles, or stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can see sunset right there, right there. Well, I want to thank him for stopping by, uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.